Hi Bhuvan. Greetings from Sri Lanka, a beautiful country located in Asia, also known as Wonder of Asia. Hi Bhuvan means long live. It's the way Sri Lankans welcome visitors. Chairperson, Academy for Administrative Professionals. I have been working as an executive secretary right throughout my life, which I enjoy very much. Even at the present moment, I am also working as an executive secretary to a prestigious bank in Sri Lanka. It is my pleasure and privilege to join Admin Chat webinar on the invitation of Executive Support Magazine, Lucy Blazer, Matthew, and Kathleen Drum. I have been working very closely for the last couple of years. In fact, I have been a profile in interviewer uh, two years ago on the said magazine. Uh, it is really a rare opportunity representing the Asian Pacific region to join you. It is my special thanks are extended to Executive Support Magazine for giving this opportunity to come across with you and to network with you. Today, the topic which I chose to speak is something you find here, there, anywhere and everywhere. It might be in house, homes, it might be in offices, it might be in associations, individuals, groups, teams. It is you finding definitely everywhere and anywhere. It is a topic that people face very unprofessionally sometimes. It is, for me, the subject which I have chosen is a cruel disease. You will see on screen the subject which I am going to speak. Personally, it is not a subject that I very much like even to think of. I have no experience at all in this subject, jealousy. Jealousy is a disease incurable cancer. Therefore, I am not at all in favor of talking, but there are so many people who have undergone this jealousy ending their lives sometimes. What is jealousy? It can be personal, it can be professional. But I have categorized professional jealousy because I am addressing today admin professionals. We all stand up for the right and sometimes it itself brings jealousy by the others. We grow. We grow and elevate in our positions. That is our sheer dedication. 
but for many of them who cannot achieve that status it's a matter for jealousiness let us see what is jealousy as you see on the screen jealousy is an emotion or feeling may be negative thoughts feeling of insecurity fear or loss anxiety over anticipation of losing yours if we talk further nb is the desire for what others have we can be specific such as status lifestyle lifestyles positions the ownership characteristics or relationships moving further if we really see if you are successful you have more enemies you have few people who will be pushing you and admiring you it's a known fact therefore jealousy should not be a hindrance for our progress it says success makes so many people hate you when people hate us we must love them i think that way we are great we show our greatness to the world by empathizing them they are jealous because they don't have what we have simple as i earlier said what is envy an emotion which occurs when a person lack another's superior quality achievements ownership or they are wishers and it can be anything you name it for a person who wanted to be jealous it is a simple thing that which you and i will leave and not think about it jealousy is the sign of distress people when the others get what they want they get distress so what can we do other than sympathizing them just because someone is jealous we should not fall into their hate it is our unique quality that we maintain our status our kindness our giving let's empathize with them because as i originally said it's a incurable disease so for such people we need to bear with them we we have to love them be compassionate with them they are not competitors for us they need our love they need our thinking let's put our thinking cap and we'll try to get them over the syndromes jealousy if not controlled it will become a disaster people the people of jealous will be having so many problems they cannot breathe properly they cannot sleep sleep properly you and i can sleep properly breathe properly smile properly because we don't fall into that category but this world is full of such people when someone is jealous they have too much of expectations they are trying to get recognition over the other person maybe an individual and they always try to their mind is of competition 
compete, compete, compete. She or he has, but I don't have. But in your and my case, who, do, who are not jealous people, we always try to climb the ladder in a professional manner. We like to see people rising. We like to see people getting promotions. Yes, danger of envy. You or whoever who is a jealous person has no peace in mind. They are egoistic. They are always stressed, depressed. Jealousy is a non-communicable disease which might take long years to get over. When you have such diseases, you will lose your beauty. You will not have kindness. You are full of anger. Such people are always unpleasant. They smile not from heart. Sometimes they do not know to smile also. They hate people. They are looking at people suspiciously. They don't have faith. So don't you think this is envy is a danger? We don't feel it so much because we as professionals, we achieved with sheer dedication, commitment, and we have undergone hardships and we know the value of what we have got. Success has just not come into us. We, you and I, as admin, admins, executive assistants, have undergone so much. We have been working for different bosses. We have been associating with different level of colleagues. We have had wonderful superiors. If they have been jealous of us, perhaps our life would not have been what it is today. We have been fortunate enough to have lovely friends, executive support is a team full of wonderful people. I must make a mention today that in my achievements, my friends from Asian Pacific region, especially the Association of Secretaries and Administrative Professionals in Asia Pacific have been wonderful. They stood by me always. They were the happiest to see my achievements. They were there to push me. They never let me down. They were there to make me happy all the time. And always encouraging. You see, isn't it a blessing in life to have such wonderful people? The same way I have been undergoing this word jealousy in my life in many occasions. Hard to mention, not in office, of course, but I have had, which I don't want to talk, but I never gave up. So, as I explained earlier, jealousy, the envy is a human nature. Therefore, we have to leave little space to accommodate these things in our life. But perhaps we have to be, we have to make the other person happy. That is how that we can get away from jealousy. We must be able to look at 
the other person's achievement in a happy heart. We will be able to enjoy the sunrise. We, may, we are fortunate enough to enjoy the bird singing. We can live in the environment. We will have a large circle of friends when you are not jealous. Your achievements definitely will be remarkable. It is the duty of us to make such people to leave them alone. Don't take notice of those things. Why with people who are not in our frame, who, are, who cannot be in our circle, why should we worry about? At certain times, as administrative professionals, we need to drop things, leave alone. We should know to take good to ourselves and bad to be left behind. When we talk about professional jealousy, don't be jealous of somebody achieving things in life. Going and climbing the ladder in a professional manner, achieving their qualifications, becoming somebody special, someone special in the universe. Be happy for them. Congratulate them wholeheartedly. If you become a jealous person, as I said, you will not prosper. You will be a destructive person for the work workplace. You will not know to work in teams. Your relationships are always damaged. You undermine organizational performance. You, therefore, it is mandatory. We do not bother about jealousy. Professional jealousy, you cannot avoid. Jealousy, sometimes even in your families, sometimes your relations, sometimes your own kith and kin, they feel jealous of sometimes the others. So it is not a problem that you should consider too much. When, when you feel something negative of yourself, obviously, step back. Stop for a moment. Realize something is happening to you. Something very strange is coming on you. Don't ever welcome jealousy and you need to nip it from the butt. Grow. Grow positively. Develop your own positive qualities. Uniqueness is not in everyone. If you give up just because you have made jealousy on your way down the memory lane, leave it a memory. People struggle because they are looking at you they are looking your success, looking at your su success. It is an unresolved problem for them, not for me and you. So, in order to avoid jealousy, 
jealousy coming to feel, jealous feelings coming to you we need to be honest all the time we have to be true to our feelings we have to have positive attitudes don't corrupt by looking at the others instead develop yourself motivate yourself and motivate the others always have develop a lifestyle of full of gratitude you need people in life every each and every one is not going to be the same like you and me so it is our ability and our capability to deal with people in a constructive manner if we can be grateful all the time i think we are happy what else we need we need happiness to live happily don't get involved in negative people if you realize someone is jealous and someone is jealous of you just leave them alone don't take them into your head don't take them into your consideration just drop them off totally be happy be happy that you have taken the correct decision wise decision for yourself don't spend time unnecessarily on people who are not worth having in your circle in conclusion envy jealousy is the opposite of love love celebrates good of another and envy seek to destroy another in order to benefit oneself therefore jealousy though it prevails everywhere as i said earlier it is in air sometimes however we must understand the envy or maybe the jealousy is uh, an epidemic which is worse than corona virus around the world it comes in different forms different angles therefore survival depends on how you tackle it how you follow the guidelines how you face it take the challenge jealous jealousy is not something that we need to be bothered about we need to be happy you need to be proud when you feel when you realize that you have people who are jealous of you why let me go back reverse and see people are jealous of you because you have been successful in life you are you have done something better than them you are unique than them you are excellent and exclusive therefore do you think the jealousy is a matter for us to think of is it a matter for us to spend time useless just drop it off and jealousy don't get fearful we know to deal it and we know how to handle it and to keep them keep the jealous people where they are you and i we together as professional administrators need to be strong 
we need to have open minded people in our life they must be able to listen to us and we must be able to share with them a good listener is a good friend a good listener is a caretaker of ours we need to have an encourager they are always there to support us to see us growing to ensure that we do not make mistakes therefore we need to have encouragers in our life if not we are failures we need to have inspirers people need inspiration they must be able to stand with us we must be able to trust them if we select the jealous person we will not be able to achieve this in life we need to have people in order to develop ourselves the challenges the people who can give us a challenge challenges always make us stand high in fact my motto in life challenge the challenge that is how i have gone a long way that is how i have created history for asian pacific region i never look back to take the correct decision i always planned i took challenges and i draw myself to the plan to the goal what i designed when we talk about we need to have a empathizer in our life it may be family friends whoever it is somebody who can empathize with us whom we can believe upon if not our success is at a questionable moment we also have to have a accountable partner we must be able to share the partner in progress really we need to be brutally honest we just have no space in our life for lies honesty brings you unexpected diaries therefore always have honest people in our life our life will be very beautiful if we really have honesty practiced all the time we also have to have perfect motivators they should be practical motivators not just for the words motivators are very rare sincere motivators are even rare so always look upon for people who can motivate you who can encourage you who can listen to you who can inspire you be optimistic and be nice so today the topic which i spoke was jealous i was significant on professional jealousy specifically because you and i are working people professional people and even knowingly or unknowing unknowingly we may have encountered jealousy of our, we have become victims of jealousy of others but as always i believe in life people are jealous of you because you are someone above them you are someone unique you may be having something which is not known to them which is not 
acquired by them. So be happy. You have achieved in life much more than them. Don't ever be jealous. Don't ever be jealous of people. We are people. We have to be kind to the people. We take peace and harmony, not the jealousy. It was really pleasure having spent some hours nearly about 45 minutes or maybe so maybe a little longer than that with you today and I as a professional administrator would like to see you developing would like to see you going above your horizons and be happy be safe you are wonderful and I am truly amazed to have been with you. Today, let me conclude with the saying of William Brockner, which has given me a lot of thoughts and an eye-opener. Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice and lying and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. So let's follow this. Don't get afraid voice your opinions and to raise your voice against injustice. Always be honest, speak truth and be compassionate. You will be a wonderful and amazing administrative professional. Thank you and once again I wish you all the best till we meet again. Thank you.